Previously, I hooked up a garden hose to a three quarter inch ram pump to see if it would operate as a drive pipe. It didn't, not enough flow rate. But now I have the half inch ram pump with garden hose attached. It's a hundred foot hose that goes over here to a bucket. And I wanna see if the half inch ram pump will operate on a garden hose. So let's go fill up the bucket. I'm gonna turn the drive pipe ball valve off and we will go over here and see if a garden hose is going to be able to run the smaller pump. Before, the three quarter inch ram pump needed a good deal of flow rate and the hose that I had was just not big enough to allow that to happen. So here's my setup over here. I'm gonna have to straighten up this drive pipe, but I'm gonna use a bucket as my source and I'm gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna fill that up, but first I have to let all of the air bubble out of there. Okay, the bucket's not full, but it doesn't have to be. So let's take this drive pipe and make sure that it is nice and straight, because that is definitely important with a ram pump. Okay, I'm gonna pull out that slack down here. I'm excited about this test because a lot of uh, customers that purchase the half inch pump ask the question, can I just use garden hose? And so this will answer yes or no if they have to buy new drive pipe or if they can just use the hose that they've already got laying around the house. All right, let's see how, if we can get this decently straight here. Hmm. Here we go. We'll just lay it against the failed attempt at a river pump. Okay. Get this turned on. There it is. I hear it bubbling out. So typically when that happens, there's still air in that drive pipe somewhere. I work with things for just a minute and realize that the curve that I had going over was enough to stop the cycle. So now that I've got the drive pipe straight again, it's not very efficient, but it is beginning to cycle. So I'm just uh, hitting this to prime it a little bit, see if I can get enough pressure in the tank for this to run on its own. I pulled the pump down the hill a couple more feet to give more head pressure, and it's definitely closing with a much stronger snap here, but still not quite starting on its own. All right, let's see what kind of pressure we've got now built up. Yeah, I was getting there. All right, so my thoughts are, with enough head pressure, a garden hose is going to work, but it's not very effective here with a uh, hundred foot of fairly small garden hose. So, uh, I've got some flex pipe over here. So, or poly pipe, I guess I should call it. Let's hook that up and see if it makes much of a difference. Because I think the inner diameter is half inch, so it's gonna be a better pipe to use. So let's try that. Okay, I just connected some black poly pipe, and I'm gonna put the water back in here and see how well a a good drive pipe works on the same pump. There was a little bit of air still stuck in this drive pipe, so I cleaned that out, and now you can see it's already got a much more firm pop whenever it closes with uh, actually even less head pressure than it had before. Oh, and it's already going. So that definitely shows that the black poly pipe with the larger inner diameter than a garden hose is gonna be far superior at getting a pump going. 
Well, I believe those results are good enough to say that yes, a garden hose can be a drive pipe for a half inch ram pump, but it's not very effective. I had to add, I've got about three feet of head pressure with the bucket and then about a foot of hydrostatic pressure and then had to come down the hill over here another two or three feet just to get this thing to cycle. So not very effective. So now I've just got the three feet plus one foot of hydrostatic pressure and you saw that this thing was cycling pretty much immediately. So definitely better to have the appropriate pipe, either half inch PVC or half inch poly pipe like this one right here. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you are looking for a ram pump, I have four different sizes for sale at landthehouse.com. Link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.